everyone. Welcome to the Supply Chain Innovator Show with Michael Vincent, my friend and business partner, podcaster extraordinaire. <laughs> we, we love re recording these shows with Trans Insights News. Uh, today, we're going to be talking about a big shout out to CCJ, their top 250 ranked fleets. Yeah. And we did some analysis of our own on engine counts, which is different. Um, and we're going to talk through that a little bit. So how are you doing today, Michael? I'm doing fabulous, man. I'm I'm ready to dig into this. I I love it because, you know, we're into all the data and 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 you know the contacts and and leads and that type of stuff. But it's really when you start to dig into the data enrichment and looking at these type of things that I start to geek out, right? Because you just you look at something like engines, just count engine counts, and then you look at how many different ways you can slice it. And the information you can glean and the strategies you can get from that are just, to me, that's that's what's exciting to me. It's just taking this piece of data and saying, okay, what does this mean? And how does this impact the industry and then all the ancillary support industries, et cetera? It's 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 exciting. I, I love that kind of thing. I, just, I love it. So absolutely. Yeah. And you and I are working on custom research projects yeah. uh, with various data that people need. You know, in in my mind, it's much better to go to 100 companies that I know are a good fit than a thousand and maybe not get anything, right? <laughs> so we're oh, doing <laughs> market research of what TMS are they using? What ELD are they using? How many class five, six, seven, and eight engines do they have? You know, those kinds of things because it makes a huge difference. Um, well, if I've we're, we're, salespeople. Basically, if you're out there spraying and praying with a shotgun, right? And right. you'd rather use a sniper rifle, we're your scope. Right. Exactly. Exactly. Well put. Well put, my friend. So I'm going to just thought of that. You can use that, dude. I'm going to trademark that and then I'll sell it to you. So absolutely. Go easy on me. All right. <laughs> uh, so, you know, the first thing we did, we looked at engine counts, federal motor carrier safety data that we have um, in our trucking tower leads data. And uh, let's look at how many engines are, are registered to these companies through FMCSA. Which so these are what's registered to the CCJ's top 250. Right. We're dissecting that by number of engines from our enhanced data, right? Exactly. And yeah. they're different. And I looked at the numbers. There was a difference of about 80,000 between total trucks and actually registered trucks to these companies. Which so what, in, in the CCJ data, it's got leased tractors, right? So who's oh, okay. authority so that's is that? Is that Penske or Ryder or who is that, right? You know? Yeah. So we took the top 250 CCJ list. And then we, yeah. we dissected and looked at engines registered to those companies. So that's gotcha. what we did. And gotcha, uh, gotcha, gotcha. total counts um, across all fleets. 729,000 total trucks and engine counts registered is 661,800 and some odd. So a difference there, obviously. But, yeah. uh, it, but it does, it makes a difference in how you look at the data. The top 25 have over 450,000 engines, right? Yeah. The next one, 26 to 100, 100 is 140,000 or so. I've actually got it over here in my analysis. Yeah. Top 25, 460,000. 26 through 100 is 130,687. And then yeah. 101 to 250 is 70,921. So that's the first thing we did is look at the tiers. Yeah, and it, 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 it tells you how to weight that. So that 95% of the fleets, right? aren't even represented here. So <laughs> how, how many number of trucks is that? <laughs> right, right, exactly. Absolutely. And then, you know, the next slice we took was top 10 engine counts within the CCJ top 250. So Ooh, FedEx, okay. um, let me look at the percentages. FedEx is 21.2%. UPS, 19%. JB Hunt, 3.7%. And then the other ones are between 1.7 and 2.6% shown there. So there's your top 10 in terms of engine counts. 
Wow. Right. And across, so that and that that FedEx is that the whole and UPS is that across their whole that's the whole corporate umbrella the headquarter umbrella right so that's like FedEx FedEx ground custom critical all that stuff right 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 okay gotcha yes. gotcha and wow. you know that front there may be a certain segment of FedEx you know that they outsource some of their delivery so it may 100%. Be that, yeah right it, but. In terms of registered on the FMCSA, how many yeah. uh, as a percentage of the top 250, what do they have? And FedEx has 21.2% of that. Right, right, yeah. right, 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 right. Got gotcha. you. Okay. Got gotcha. you. That was the next, that, is- that was the next slice we did. And then a third slice we did. Top three headquarters states by engine counts, right? Yes. Another look. And your state, right there, Tennessee. Uh, yeah, the, uh, followed by Georgia, followed by Arkansas. So there's your top three headquarters states managing all these engine counts. Yeah, and you can guess what those three companies are. Anybody? <laughs> <laughs> right, exactly. It kind of lines up, doesn't it? Right. Yeah, I'll and get you. I'll give you one. I'll give you one guess. um but yeah when you look at the total engine counts and you look at the top three states it's tennessee followed by georgia followed by arkansas Mm -hmm. yep yeah yeah right fedex ups and jb hunt (laughs) yep (laughs) well and, and and Arkansas has got a, a couple other decent size that would help make up that 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 ranking as well. I would imagine, right? Right, I mean, right. across the top. That's pretty yeah. big, but it's got a. There's a couple of else, others that are that are there that that are of maybe not the exact same size, but of significance. Let's put it that way. Right, right, right. absolutely. And same with with Tennessee. That's not all. Yeah. Just FedEx, right there. That's FedEx. Yeah, no, plus. I mean you. Um, right, right. You've got. Yes, you're right. I mean, you've got Covenant is in there, and there's there's a number of others that are there as well. Yeah. Right. So no doubt about it. But yeah, uh, yeah Freight Alley is the, for real, right? That's Tennessee Freight Alley. That's for real. Well, you've got. I mean, your top two states are Freight Alley, right? I mean, Freight Alley is is Route 75, really Atlanta up through, you know, Knoxville. <laughs> Absolutely right. So, there you go. There's a lot of brain power running fleets right there. <laughs> well, brain power is is something we can argue, but <laughs> just kidding. Just kidding. <laughs> Certainly horsepower. Horse, put it horsepower. Right. They're overseeing <laughs> a whole lot of horsepower, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So uh, now we could throw a bourbon and then Kentucky would probably be number one there, right? You know. Yeah, exactly. Bur- oh. barrels of bourbon per per you know per state and i think i think kentucky wins <laughs> probably by a lot by a long ways uh, <laughs> yeah. but you know i love doing these research projects and we've got some research articles that are coming out as well i'm super excited to get that going in our newsletter um and just continue to build research and tools to help companies land more business and partner in more efficient ways. You know, that's really what we're all about. So it it really, it really is. And, and, you know, we can talk philosophy at another time, but uh, the importance of being able to utilize the data and gathering it, um, gathering the data and then being able to utilize it and to apply it in an efficient and impactful way for your company is is key and and that's what we're doing here right because data is great but it's also worthless unless you know how to uh you know create meaning out of it and then and then apply that meaning to to actual impact right partnering business growth coverage you know what whatever you're looking for uh, it comes down to where are the people? Who are you going after? And you got to get that right. 